So 2018 came from this idea of me, first of all, trying to be, celebrate the idea of a new year and it's being something more than a new year. So uh, it's something I use for not only my students that are adults that I got, but uh, like my daughter and other young children, we get excited about when we make things more colorful. So 2018 is like great rhymes with eight. So we just put great teen and, and also, also what that does is motivates the idea of what we're reaching for in this year, in these next 365 days, in these 12 months, is to be great. Um, we, we want to achieve greatness from every step from in the morning to, you know, at the end of the year achieving our goals. So the reason that we, I, I put the hashtags or something because I want people to catch on to, I think it's something that's important for people to uh, be able to follow and keep up to date with and share. Uh, macro to micro, the idea is how we go from my macro, my big goals, my big ideas, my big dreams, and how do I actually take a step back, inhale, observe that, and actually try to map out a way to get there, right? Like, okay, you want to go to Japan this year. When do you think you want to go? Do you want to go next week or do you want to go in December, right? And which one of these things, how feasible is each one of these things? Some of us, we might have the money and the freedom to jump on a plane and go to, you know, to Japan next year. But some, I mean, or next week. But for some of us, going next week is impo almost impossible or a really crazy feat. But December might be a real thing we can achieve, right? Like, all right, all right what does it take to go to Japan? All right, the ticket might be 2000 How much time do I want to spend there? Right? How uh, how much money do I need to spend there? What is what is that going to take? If I start doing that research, I say, okay, in total, I need five thousand dollars to have a month in Japan the way I want to. What does it look like to get to five thousand dollars, passport, medical things, to have me set to go to Japan for a month in December? That's really doable. And macro to micro means here's this big goal, Japan. Mac micro is saying, what do I need to start doing today, and what can I do every single day? to get there. It might be save a dollar a day. It might be ask for a dollar a day. It might be, you know, uh, do a 10 push-ups a day because maybe I want to look a certain way when I get to Japan, right? It's a bunch of different things. What, are, what is it that I want to do? What is it want, that I want to achieve? And how can I get there? So before we can actually address our micro goals, I mean our macro goals, we have to be able to uh, measure our micro goals. The idea behind wearing one suit for the entire year uh, is to promote minimalism, focus, and goal setting. Um, so the point for that is, how much do I actually need to get to get work done? Like I'm a person, I have a bunch of suits in the basement right now. I got a bunch of clothes. People know me in the city for having a nice, a decent wardrobe. Uh, but as a designer, I hate waste. I hate waste of time. I hate waste of resources and products, right? They all harm us. Physically, they harm us as far as products on the planet. You know, just wasting things creates uh, pollution, and pollution harms us, kills the planet, kills us. Um, and more importantly, the waste of time. The time is the one thing we can't buy back, and everything we do is surrounded by time and based on time. Uh, so what I found was a year, a year and a half ago, I started uh, meal prepping my meals. And what that did is for the next four to seven days, I had all of my meals planned out. What that gave me was a level of mental freedom that I never knew I was missing. Right? I, I, got, I got physical time back because I didn't have to cook the meals except heating them up. I didn't have to like cook a new meal. I didn't have to go around and trying to figure out what I was going to do. And mentally, that's the biggest thing. We don't realize psychologically, we, us as humans, we spend a great number of hours a day pondering or uh, stressing, building anxiety about food, like what we're gonna eat, whether it's for ourselves, whether we're gonna have to buy it. It also saves a great deal of money. Um, and if we have to do it with other people, that just doubled or tripled our stress, right? Whenever, have you ever tried to make plans with a group of people to get food? It's, it's just time consuming and, it's, and, 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 it's, and you become anxious, it creates anxiety. Um, so through that process, I realized that I could, I could save a lot of time. 